So the first thing I'm going to do is to add a contact, normally open contact. I'll just select first input for now. Then I'm going to add a on delay timer. Connect these two together and then I'm going to set the time on the timer to one second. Okay. And then I'm going to add another MIG contact. And this will be the timer itself, the output from the timer. And then I'm going to add a coil, a relay coil, or an output. Let's leave that as Q1 for now. Now the second part of the pulse generator, I'm going to add a break contact or a normally closed contact. I'm going to just select the second input for now. Then I'm going to add a off delay timer. Just connect it to the timer trigger. And again, I'll set this timer to a time of one second. Okay, then I'm going to add a, another normally open contact. And select the second timer for now. And then select a, another output coil. And just connect those two together. Now what we have to do is to change the first normally open contact. And the second part of the pulse generator, we need to change this normally closed contact. And swap them for the outputs of the timers. So this one is going to be... Q2 and that's just there. And this one is going to be Q1. Okay. Now what this will do is it will create a one second pulse on output Q1 and we'll be able to simulate this if we start our simulator now. So from the menu, I'm going to select simulator. And as you can see, near the bottom, our Q1 output is flashing at approximately once every second. Bye bye.